Welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Bridget from the South Butler Community Library. We're going to have a lot of fun today, so let's get started with our hello song. Are you ready? Point to yourself. Here we go. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're going to have some fun. We're going to clap our hands. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're going to have some fun. We're going to clap our hands. We're going to nod our head. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're going to have some fun. We're going to clap our hands we're gonna nod our head we're gonna wiggle our fingers i am here and you are here and we are all together i am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun we're gonna clap our hands we're gonna nod our head we're gonna wiggle our fingers we're gonna read some books i am here and you are here and we are all together i am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun let me know who's watching from home say hi in the comments i love talking to you all Let's get stretching with our yoga. Here we go, hands up. Tall as a tree, wide as a house, thin as a pin, and small as a mouse. Here we go again. Tall as a tree, wide as a house, thin as a pin, and small as a mouse. One more time. Tall as a tree, stretch real high. Wide as a house, thin as a pin, and small as a mouse. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Today for story time, we're going to be talking about birds. And I have a bird friend here. He is a bald eagle. That's my son's favorite kind of bird. But what makes birds different from other animals? Let's take a look. What do birds have right here? Their mouth is called a beak. Yes, it's called a beak. And what do they have on the side that they can flap up and down? Wings, yes, birds have wings. Most of them can fly. There are some that can't fly, but most birds can fly. And how about covering their body? What is all over their body? They don't have fur, what do they have? They have feathers, right. And what kind of homes do they make? Do you know? They make nests. They might use sticks or twigs or mud, but they build their nests. And what do they lay in their nests? Eggs, that's right. They lay eggs and then sit on their eggs until their babies hatch. So today we're gonna read a bird story and do some fun songs and we're gonna have a good time learning all about birds. Our story today is called Birds and it's by Kevin Hankis and it's illustrated by Laura Dronzek. In the morning, I hear birds singing through the open window. Birds can be yellow or blue or brown or red or even green, I think. Birds can be all different colors. Sometimes they are so black that you can't see their eyes or their feathers just their shapes. Birds can be big. Do you know what kind of bird this is? It's a flamingo or little. This is a hummingbird. They can fly really fast. 
or any size in between. Do you know what this bird is? It's an owl. What does an owl say? Hoo, hoo. And this is a seagull. Maybe if you've gone to the beach, you might have seen a seagull flying by. Once I saw seven birds on the telephone wire. They didn't move, and they didn't move, and they didn't move. I looked away for just a second, and they were gone. What do you think happened? I think they flew away. If birds made marks with their tail feathers when they flew, think what the sky would look like. Wouldn't it be so colorful? If clouds were birds, the sky would look like this. Or this. Those look like birds sleeping at night. Sometimes in winter, a bird in a tree looks like one red leaf left over. Do you see the bird? There it is. If there are lots of birds in one tree and they all fly away at the same time, it looks like the tree yelled, surprise! There they all go. If I were a bird, I'd ask where all the other birds go when it's stormy and they can't get home to their nests. I like to pretend I'm a bird. Do you ever do that? Flap your wings around like you're a bird? I can't really fly, but I can do this. I can sing. She can sing like a bird. The end. Next, we're going to do a fun song about two little blackbirds. So you're going to have your two fingers up, and those are your blackbirds. Are you ready? Here we go. Get your fingers up. It goes like this. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. All right, are you ready? Here's our next one. They're gonna be flying in the sky, okay? Two little blackbirds flying in the sky. One named Low, one named High. Fly away, Low, fly away, High. Come back, Low. That was fun to make my voice do that. All right, our next two blackbirds are going to sit on a pole, okay? And one's going to be fast and one's going to be slow. Here we go. Ready? Two little blackbirds sitting on a pole. One named fast, one named slow. Fly away fast, fly away slow. Come back fast. Come back slow. All right, I like this one. Our last one, they're going to be on a cloud and there's going to be quiet and loud. Are you ready? Two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud. One name quiet. One name loud. Fly away quiet. Fly away loud. Come back loud. All right, good job, everybody. My question for you today is, what is your favorite kind of bird? In our story, we saw a lot of different kinds of birds, but I'm going to show you a few that you might have seen around your house or maybe when you're going for a walk or going for a drive. So my first one to show you is this black and orange one. That is an oriole. It's a really pretty bird. That's an oriole. This one, this blue and white and black one is a blue jay. Maybe you've seen them around your house. That's a blue jay. 
Or maybe you like this red one. This is a cardinal. I have a lot of cardinals that come to my bird feeders. That's one of my favorite birds because my grandma really liked cardinals. How about a chicken? Maybe you like chickens. What does a chicken say? Buck, 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 buck. That's right, that's a chicken. That's a kind of bird. Or maybe you like woodpeckers. Woodpeckers are black and white with some red. And maybe you've heard them tap, 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 tap on the trees. They like to peck at the trees to look for insects for food. So maybe you like woodpeckers. And how about this one? How about a duck? What does a duck say? Quack, quack, quack. Yep, a duck is a kind of bird too. Now my favorite bird is the hummingbird, the one that can fly really fast. I have a hummingbird feeder on my deck so I can watch them eat. But the hummingbird is my favorite one. What is your favorite bird? Let me know in the comments. For our next song, we are going to pretend to be birds. Are you ready? The first thing we're going to do is peck for food. So you gotta peck with your beak like this, okay? Let's do it, ready? This is the way we peck for food, peck for food, peck for food. This is the way we peck for food so early in the morning. Did Miss Bridget look pretty silly doing that? <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is flap our wings. Ready? Get your wings ready. This is the way we flap our wings, flap our wings, flap our wings. This is the way we flap our wings so early in the morning. And now we're going to use our wings to fly away. Here we go. This is the way we fly away, fly away, fly away. This is the way we fly away so early in the morning. And now after we flew away, we're going to come back to sleep in our nest. Okay, this is the way we sleep in our nest, sleep in our nest, sleep in our nest. This is the way we sleep in our nest so early in the morning. Good job, little birdies. For our craft today, we are going to make a Cheerio bird feeder. All you need are some Cheerios and a pipe cleaner. You take your Cheerios and you thread them on the pipe cleaner. This is great fine motor skill practice for your little ones. So let them put on the Cheerios just like this. So when you have it all threaded on there, it'll look like this and I leave a little bit of space at either end and then you can make it whatever shape you want. I'm just going to do a circle and I'm going to twist the two ends of the pipe cleaner together. And there's your bird feeder. You can hang it out on your tree branch and watch the birds as they eat the Cheerios. So if you do this, I'd love to see a picture of it hanging on a tree in your yard. So make sure you put it in the comments for me so I can see it. You know, we always have to do zoom, 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 right? Here we go. Let's get our fingers and hands ready. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard a rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Let's do it again. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard our rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! I love learning about birds with you today. I hope you had a lot of fun. Let's sing our goodbye song. Are you ready? Let's wave. 
Now it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you next week. I can't wait to visit with you more next week. Bye, everyone.